What up, y'all? It's Tito, and welcome back to Undertale Pacifist, the ending. We are seeing the final boss this episode, which seems to be Soroba. Make sure I'll shank that like button. So, my dudes, I got a couple things we got to talk about, which is that the monsters should not be on my side for this. We're going to meet it right now. You see, what Soroba's doing is very in line with their side of the story, right? Soroba's daughter... It's, of course, going to be so gloomy. So, Soroba's daughter has fallen down. These are monsters. They should be on Soroba's side, willing to sacrifice me for the sake of bringing Kanako back, you know? So, it's, I was just thinking, it's, it's nice that they're treating the human as an actual friend and not letting me go. You know, I'm not that much an enigma that I won't come again. Like, another human will come down here. So, these monsters are legit, you know? I figured out where these boulders were coming from. Turns out Nordstar set the machines up for feisty missions. <laughs> I had a friendly chat with him about it all. He immediately apologized, so I forgave him. How could I say no to his overwhelming charm? I'm only mon- Alright, go make a whole song about it. Here's the other thing, right? So when Chujin, which I can't believe it, bro. I picked that name up as a joke. I just noticed the name in my first run, and I've been making a joke of it. This man played such an important role. He didn't know his daughter would have fallen. He didn't- His daughter hadn't fallen down when he made that. So he's like, find anyone but Kanako. Who the frick are you? Oh, it's the man who did some unsuitable stuff to me. I'm famished. About to yump on to get yump on. Wow, we're actually going backwards through here. But yeah, so now the daughter's fallen down. So Sarobo, Sarobo's trying to... Vengeful bird? Oh, hey there, kid. Thought I'd make something out of myself and get a real job. <laughs> Despite playing a great bandit. Star doesn't actually pay anyone in town. Well, he lets the shopkeepers have most of their revenue, but that's about it. Oh, well, it's pretty fun while it lasted. Damn, does he get a cut of... Nah, that's why Button Man lives outside the freaking place. Yeah, so she's gonna... So now Kanako fell down, so she's trying to use me to resurrect her, which is kind of crazy, bro. So there are like a couple boss monsters. They kind of have like a soul that passes through their lineage. While all humans have a soul. A human soul is stronger than a monster soul. So even if Chujin's vision comes to pass... And you go to the surface with an army of boss monsters. I mean, the humans did get weak nowadays. But the boss monsters sound like they would lose. That's crazy. Unless they brought an army of accesses. You know that... I'll yeah, I know, Flaus. Unless I'm going the complete wrong way. Hope you had a good time at mining, Cole. Can you believe I'm still mining? I'm just that committed to my job. Do you think Angie heard that? <laughs> But I guess the point I was trying to make is monsters are a lot more- Oh my goodness, I could- I just went through the whole crap for no reason. But it shows monsters are more compassionate than we realize. Probably more compassionate than humans, right? There's a lot more selflessness you can see in the monsters. Which I guess turns out to be their weakness. Probably how they ended up sealed in the first place. Am I going the right way? I'm gonna go back to Toriel. Well, we can ask Flowey. He's gonna make. what are you doing? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's ship ourselves to the Steamworks. I'm sure Ascor won't catch us. Ascor already knows I'm here, so I could use their services. Can't snitch on me. I've already been snitched on. Travel. Okay. We're going to the Steamworks station. Oh, I should have checked on Dalve. Frick, we're checking on Dalve. I got mail? Starlo Urgent. Hey, Clover, something's up. Was I supposed to read this beforehand? Hey, Clover, something's up. I made plan with the posse as planned. Wait, I made up with the posse as planned. All was going well, but then I began worrying about you and Soroba. That's when I got the idea to break into Soroba's old house and spruce it up to celebrate her and Kanako's eventual return. Well, when Ed was sweeping around, he found some kind of secret room. Seems like it belonged to Chujin. We didn't have time to dig into its contents, but all I know is it worried us both. You may be in danger. Then again, maybe not. Just come back to the Wild East for now. I can only reach this letter reaches you in time. Okay, so it didn't reach me in time. Thank goodness. Okay, I don't want to be that stupid. I'm not reading the mole letters. Okay, I gotta go to Snowden. If you think about it, we've never seen a monster super selfish yet. Kind of Ascor. And the closest is kind of Flowey, right? But you could even argue and say Flowey got a taste of the human side because he fused with the human for a bit and that's why he's so evil you know but it's like all monsters are inherently kind creatures can i think of any evil ones 
No. They all fall to the same... We we'll have, have to find out. They all, find to the, found, they all fall to the same scheme of going easy on the human once they're kind. You know, I find it strange. We only met mere hours ago, but for some reason, it feels like I've known her for years. Time is truly the puzzle we will never solve. Well, I better get back to it. That's freaking it. I don't mean to bring the mood down, but uh, the beach house I was eyeing, down payment alone is like 100 G's. Not 100 G, 100 grand. But yeah, no, I'm chill about it. Everyone knows the house bubble is gonna burst. <laughs> as soon as that happens, I'm cleaning up. Are you gonna have to get the 100 G's first? All right. I suppose we will take the travel station. My dudes. So Robo was the reason I was never using the UGPS. Not that she would have suspected that someone would find something and send that message, but it's because of her that I was never able to get that letter in time. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I gotta go to the Steamworks. We're doing this. Uh, the commons. I might be stupid, but I'm quite literally going through the whole game again. Just to get back to that elevator. And I'm sure there's an easy way to do it. There we go. That's the access room. And now we're at the elevator after much time. Oh my goodness! They said to use the laundry chute, you dumbass! Oh my god. I'm about to use it. I'm about to use it. Just because I want to buy some items. I thought of that halfway on this trip, but I'm like, I can't go back now. The laundry chute. Let me go find the next nearest item, dude. Axis! Hello, human. You caught me on a date with the lovely. Turns out I did not have to recharge. Yep, I can run on love alone. Who knew? Still, I did spend some time in my locker. Why? Seven minutes in heaven. I don't understand it. And is he really too stupid to tell that not a, that's not... That thing sucks. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest, my dudes. I can't find the nearest shop. And I think I'm good. I can beat this game without help. I don't need to stock up on items. See, so here we go. Out the laundry chute. Here is the elevator. This is where we were at the start of the last episode, and then we got betrayed. Right, the UG elevator rooftop. The s you better not have killed Starlo. That's your best friend. That legit is your best friend, bro. That's why it's so weird that he picked me over her. He should have been like, we can bring Kanoko back. Just stab me up. That's a true homie, bro. Okay. R3. Okay, that station wasn't unlocked. Now it is. Hey, you got your life back in order. Hey, you caught me chilling by my brand new house. That's right, just bought this sucker. I've been down in the dumps lately, so I thought it was a time to move on. You know, do something nice for myself. Yeah, I know. Can I get in? Come on, I've got a pure heart this time. Music producers only. Oh, there's a shop right here. Oh, howdy. We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why don't we tally up your... 11? Drum roll, please. I I'm pretty good! Wow, if I wasn't here, this would all have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm gung-ho wasn't the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. Ooh. Blub blub. I apologize, we're out of- Yeah, and then the ghosts are here, but there's actually no ghosts. Alright, so, let's see. Hello, and welcome to UG Apartments. And then you're gonna tell me someone's on the roof. Uh, castle. Of course, to reach new home, you'll want to take that elevator on my left. Not as in my appearance, left as in the direction. You get it. Ahem. Of course, with the core being under maintenance, it is the only way to reach the city. Wow. Oh, hold on a second. I think I recognize. Yes, the hat. A blue feathered monster came in here asking if you would go to the roof. Okay. The same crap is playing out. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to talk to you. Let's see. Yes. Whoa. 10 defense. Oh, but I could barely afford it. Now I have nothing. And they, they don't take cells. That sucks. All right. Well... We got what we need. So look, we got nine defense, 10 plus nine. We put this on. The unraving hopes of monster kind. Now I have 10 plus 10. 
XP, execution point zero. I should be blessed. I don't think I screwed up this run, man. It will be so sad if I did. The elevator's in use, you joking. What? Confused? Or do you think keeping a dead tally's morbid? Knowing what could have been keeps you humble. Grateful for everyone who helped you get where you are. At least that's my philosophy. Okay, Flower, you could take my soul. You've convinced me. We could change whole history. But yeah, that's why Flowey's immortal. That's why he's in this flower and he's, no one can kill him. Yeah, and then I'm not going to eat the cat food. Who knows what might happen from this point forward. Continue. Well, it's not like I can save the game or do anything. This game's going to remember. How will it change this time? How will it change Flower? Flower will not even stop with me this time. You made it. Great. What a view. That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. You know, that's kind of wild. When the monsters are trapped in here, they actually have to work from ground up and build machinery to learn to live with no sunlight or electricity or anything. Uh, behind that is New Home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Soroba and Starlo headed there. Guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer. The two couldn't have gone far. I'm positive we'll find them. Well... Phew. It's all setting in now. This is like super intimidating, right? Not just me. I don't know when I'll get another chance, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul. One of the best I've met. Left and right, you've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. You diffuse situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans, I know you can ask ours. After we defuse this robot situation, we'll march right up to that castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't worry about me. When monster kind is freed, we'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? Heh. <laughs> Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way. West New Home. The elevator downstairs should take us straight there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime, you ready? <laughs> this is so sweet. Let's stop Saroba. After you. You gonna follow me again? Okay, Flowey. Thank you for not freaking killing her this time. There's no more time to waste. We got this. I can't even run. Oh, I can run now. Sorry if the meat location was hard to find. Need a private vantage point. I also forgot that you can't fly. <laughs> Come on, feathers. You, I could, you could take me on your back. Bro, this part of the game was locked. This is a crazy run, dude. I have the same question I have with the original Undertale. Which run actually happens? Clearly only one of these happened. That ends the yellow child story. Was he a pacifist? Whoa! This is a whole new area. A map of your current location sits above the bench. The underground is so much larger than you imagined. This is so cool. Now, Charles, I know you've had a long day, but these dudes look so rich. If the dishes in the sink aren't done, we can't eat dinner. Can a guy catch a break? They put me in doc review all afternoon. I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in your weird soap. Bro, I don't know what they're talking about. They got some soap crap going on? This place is reminiscent of something. I don't know what game. Hmm. 
It is rather late, isn't it? Narrows down the locations they could have gone at least. Okay, so they can't go through there. This was the city we could see in the distance. Okay, they can't go through there. Can't go through there. We gotta go around the alleys. Huh. I expected a lot more citizens. A little eerie when no one's around. Okay. Well, it is late. I hope nothing bad happened to them. This is the pacifist where nothing bad could happen to them. Who the hell is that? That's a dude! Oh, hell no! Someone is on the roof looking at us. Oh no, I'm closed. Come back bright and early for a scoop of nice cream. The whole stand is a monster? Wow, dude, this is like a whole Tokyo. So many condensed uh, houses, everyone living together. Okay, they might have gone up there, but you can go to the right here. I'm curious. I think this elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place Robo would run to. Asgore's castle? Oh, shoot! It's right up there! Let's keep searching this area for now. That's wild, bro. That's the thing, where Asgore knows how kind humans are. He literally... Didn't he adopt one of the kids? I see them. This way. Zorobo looks distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but worst comes to worst, we might have to retreat. Tactically, of course. Let's listen in. Uh, now look who's the poo, poo friend. Freaking walking out on Starro, you've changed. Look at you. I've called it from day one. I called you a poo, poo friend. Look at her face. That's smug toxicity. Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Suroba, I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kanako is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what? You'll kill me? Oh. Hey. Damn, she jumped all fast. Clover and I, we watched the tapes. You need to let this go. If not, why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home. No, thank you for finding me. Makes things easier. If I were you two, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self-righteous act, will you? Just stop it. We can turn this around, Soroba. You said it yourself that Kanako is alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life. That's rich. I lied about Kanako Star. I had to. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no hope for her. You. I, I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know to do at this point. Kanako. That is so crazy. Kanako's a boss monster. She is the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy. His plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him. You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If he were here, the Chujin I knew wouldn't... The Chujin you knew. You knew nothing of him. No, Martlet's right. We might have had some differing views, but... Chujin was kind to everyone. And I know you are as well. It's just that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best! That's what I'm saying! They flipped him! Not only Clover's, but the soul of your own- Shut up! You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where's this high horse coming from? Sounds to me like we're in this pit together. Soroba, please. Just get out of here and let me finish what I started. You, you can't have Clover. We're going to Asgore and that's that. Don't you dare. Marley, grab Clover. I'll keep Soroba at bay. Go now. Are you freaking gonna fight? That's not nice. What? That's not nice. I'll put the genocide her.
You just folded Martlet. Clover. Uh, I... Uh, you're not sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then I could have continued to bury my sorrows in the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but... At the end of the day, you're naive. There is so much you don't understand about monsters. What, did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Five humans living out their lives unharmed? That isn't how it works. I'm guessing you discovered that truth, right? Then what? Was your and Martlet's plan to storm Asgore's castle for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. Wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am about to do the very same thing. I'm a hypocrite, a liar, sure. But at least I... With Chujin's guidance, can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that. And Asgore... Asgore's a coward. Didn't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but he... He doesn't consider what will happen once he gets his souls. Everyone else, too. They all believe victory will come easy, but the humans I've heard of? They are powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, they will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I'm no better than Asgore on scale of morality. I'm sure of it. But what I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting, so I will see that it is done. Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Hell no, my mercy and her, piece of crap! That's what you've been looking like this whole game? Negotiate. You try to talk to Soroba, but her attention is impenetrable. Soroba, you easy watch. Oh, so tough. Wait, that- What the? Whoa! See, that's not fair. That is so many projectiles. I'm negotiating here. Her attention is a pen I got a penetrator detention. Stop it! She's a boss mo- Is she a boss monster? All I know is Chujin and her daughter is his daughter. Well, it's not your daughter. It is your daughter. Cobb, you take a breath. The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. Did this help me? It's the Sakura Blossoms. Why are they on your side? Have you become one? What the hell is that? What the? What was that rising out of the ground? Calm down. She freaking grabbed me! Stop! This is not possible with 20 health. You can't give up now, Clover. It's time to take Soroba down for- So you wanna help me? I'm gonna scowl at her. You look up at Soroba, enraged by what she's done. That's right, you- you- Woo! I don't think I dodged that. Okay, I'm just gonna spam Mercy. And let's- let's see how far we can last. All I have to do is last enough turns, right? We got this. We got this. We got this. I can learn her moves. Mercy. Man, I'm about to... I really want to break the run and murk her. You know? But let's be real, right? If Chujin was still around... Here's the question. Do you think he'd agree with her? Ow! That's not dodgeable! That's not dodgeable! Let's get back to that attack. So the thing is, she does respect us, right? So if we mercy her for long enough, she will lose her will to fight us. But this move is it's literally undodgeable! And she uses it so many times! I just got back there. 
So what was it? Seven? That's ten now. You're gonna let this backstabber win not on my watch. Damn, this man, this man's torturing me. Don't send me back here, Flowey. Just let me die. How do you dodge? I dodged it! Suroba stares into your soul with regret. Oh, shoot. See, that's the thing. She said she respects us. So, uh, this is what I got cut off with. Why? So, she's not gonna be able to fight me for long. Okay, I didn't. I don't know. I have to escape that round the rosy fast. <clears throat> no, bro. No, bro. Suroba. Chill out, Suroba. How is someone supposed to. I'm gonna have to keep healing. Talk to me. Why won't you die? Because I got flowy. She hit me with her jingle bells. Jingle. No, bro. Not the orange. I hate the or. Look at my health. Why? Soroba, I could tell tell you that over some coffee and tea. You don't have to fight me. A chilling breeze envelops the area. That's a robot attacking me, stupid narrator. If I don't succeed, it's over. Listen, let's go find a piece of crap human to kill. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure a genocider will show up eventually. But do you really want to tarnish your daughter with that kind of soul? Die, man, mean. That, that's so freaking stupid. What the frick does she think she's doing? I really don't want- I only have one healing item. Just die! Wowie! What the frick is happening?! No. What the frick?! So she legit almighty pulls you. Stop it. Stop it. She's hesitant. She's blown, but she's- oh, What the frick did you just do? No! Hey, let's go! Bro, that flower or me doing that? Stop it! Stop, that really hurts even though I'm immortal. Stop it, please. That's not a pacifism! So it's come to this. My last resort. What you gonna do with that mask, huh? For Chujin. For Kanako. For the future of monster kind. Bro, she just freaking turned to some nine-tailed demon. It's the jingle bells. Okay, well, that's just precious. It, she legit did. I have one healing item. Willie Toot! Flower, I need a bit more of the determination. That's not, that's not exactly, that's not, this is not a lot, a lot of space to move in. So, guys, did I do that or did Flower give me that determination? Because that was kind of cool. Man's were really surviving out there. Man's were being a hello. Man's were being a recluse at times. So, I'm gonna need you. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. What is that? Yo! Flowey! This is Flowey. It has to be. Flowey's freaking giving me moves. He just taught me how to teleport. I have to eat this. Look, I can teleport. I'm about to break your masks. Look at this. I can teleport. Woo! I, I mastered this in Mew Mew Blaster. Maybe you're Mew Mew. I have no healing items left, so it's over for me. 
Is this doing any crap? That, that did nothing. This is a hell of a way to act like a pacifist, Clover. Just letting you know. Oh, no, 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 no. This legit is a mother's love. Dead! Your soul pulses with great power. Wait, I should do this. Let's remember, you think of those you love. Speed temporally increased. What did I do with that speed? How strong is she? She didn't absorb no human soul or anything. She's just that strong. That's some sans crap. Okay. Okay, then let's do this. Let's hope. You hold on to your hopes. Defense? Oh, flowing! Oh, flowy. Now I'm gonna endure. You refuse to back down. You gain health, flowy! This is crazy! It has to be flowy. But that, what, does that, what does that mean for how strong she is? I'm gonna keep enduring. You refuse to back down. Yes! That is insanity. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta keep enduring. It's the only way I can survive this. I get it. If it falls, it turns yellow. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Stop! And stop! And stop! I can, um... Maybe I should try to hope. Increases my defense, right? That's not what I selected. The frick? Alright, endure. Gain 9 HP. So I'm not... The thing is, I'm not hurting her. I'm just weakening... I'm nullifying her attacks. So I guess I could still be a pacifist. I just did not expect I'd have a way to fight back. Okay, let's hope. Defense increased. Bro, my stats getting... I mean, it did say temporal increase. I think they, I lose it at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, hope. Just doing anything? Okay, the jingle bells. Petals rain from the heavens. I think that's from the trees next door. Why did I not do any Endeavor Hope crap? I'm so stupid! Teleport! Oh, <laughs> I teleported through it! That's so cool! Serba gazes down upon the underground. What, she thinks she's better than everyone? Frick. I'm breaking your mask, your conical mask. Oh, shoot. I'm really sorry about that. I knew that had some sentimental value. What would you like to wear tomorrow, honey? Solomon and Christina are paying a visit and bringing food too. This is from this, the farm. I'll help you up and we can all enjoy a picnic on the porch, front porch. How does that sound? Suroba. Yes? I don't. Heh. This is also pitiful. Hey, don't say that. We don't need to have anyone over. It could just be us. A picnic sounds lovely. I want you and Kaneko to have one, surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... Gosh. You know. I never was afraid of it all my life, but now that it's so close... No. Shut up, stop it. Say it like it is, or don't say anything. I can't do this, not now. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. My work. We never talked about it much, did we? We didn't. When I built this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance is under the Kotatsu. Always has been. There, I worked towards a project. Something much bigger than myself, bigger than all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I would like you to view it. Will you do that for me? 
I will. I promise you I will. I haven't seen tears from you since we met at the crossing. I saved them for moments that matter. I'm glad. Because this moment matters a lot to me. I thought the man would disappear right there. <gasps> That's little Kanako. She's like, what are they doing in there? What? What was that? Were you in my head just now? You have no right. You have no right to be whooping my ass. God, I just pissed her off and gave her all her crap back. Sort of shaken by memory. Well, I'm gonna endure. No, I used the wrong crap. What is that supposed to do? Sorba? Stop grabbing me, man! The freak, I hate that move! Jingle bell, super- Okay, now we can endure. I'm not letting her kill me again. My Mew Mew Master Ball. Teleport out! Oh! Oh! Well, that's not very fun. I teleported into it again. Oh, where's my health? Is this really doing anything? Am I breaking it at all? Okay, endure again. Well, I've broken one part of the mask. I just have to break another. Woo! Stop it with your stupid mask! No, I'm gonna die! I have to use a healing item. Getting the feeling the barrier hitting the barrier is not working. He's gonna freaking grab me. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna raise my defense. Frick. Wow! Dude, break that stupid mask! Oh my goodness! Break the Endure. Okay, this I can handle. Stop that! No! I did it! Now I'm breaking the other eye. You're really gonna make me break your daughter's memory like this, huh? Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Look, she's watching the tapes. She watched it! Oh! Oh, shoot! Uh, hey, what a badass! Kanako? Uh, what are you doing down here? That's so cute. Is, uh, is it true? Uh, what? Am I different? Uh, Kanako, I... Daddy said he would have lived a long time if I... If I wasn't here. He would still be... No, no. Your father loved you. And he didn't want to put you in any danger. You heard him. His dream. All these books and papers. You've been trying to finish it, haven't you? With my limited abilities, yes. But it doesn't involve you. I've been looking into ways to create the serum without a boss monster. I'll figure it out. I have to. But I found this in the trash. You figured it out last week. I... Using the leftover X extract from the human soul. I believe I've removed any corruption it held. Negating the need for someone pure of heart. Yes. So you did it. Daddy's wish could come true, right? We could make him smile, make him proud of us. But he didn't want you to be a part of this. And I agree. Let me do it. I want to make things right, be useful for once. And I trust you to keep me safe. I, I do believe that the refined method would work. I just... Please... You promised you would make his dream come true. I did. 
very well. But I'll make it quick. Oh, wow. So you effed up. You tried experiment on her while she was alive. You're supposed to use someone else. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure, all right? This is why she fell. We'll be heroes of the underground. All thanks to you and daddy. Heroes, huh? That has a nice ring to it. Oh, and then you're gonna mock Starlo when you wanna be one. Okay, wait here. Look, it's a blue serum. You think she freaking killed the blue child? You will need to stand very still for this. She will be standing still after this. Close your eyes and I will begin the fusion extraction. You may feel a pinch or two, but it'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood. You truly believe in this, don't you? Yeah. Love you lots. Love you more. And there's freaking injector. It is the blue child! No. No, 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 no. Why didn't it work? Hanako, wake up. Wake up right now. Mommy's here. Come on. Hey. So do you need an active boss monster? What have I done? Like, you can't use someone who already passed it on? Because they're still boss monsters, right? They just don't have the immortality. So you know the truth now. Are you satisfied? Yeah, it's fun in your head. Do you find joy in making me relive my darkest memories? Kinda. I never claim to be a saint. I'm drowning in a sea of mistakes like anyone else. Yeah, that was a big one. But instead of sinking, I'm chasing the one ray of sunshine. Peeking through the surface. I tried letting go moving on. But I guess deep down, I'm too stubborn to live like that. This is my fate. Damn, on red in your eyes right now. This is how it was meant to be. How is she still alive? She stole Azriel's steam! You're not allowed to do that crap! I'm about to fight you! You hold on to your hopes. Defense, okay. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, she's not fighting with the mass crap anymore. But I can teleport, man. You can't hit me. This is easy. Come on. Look at that! Teleporting is crazy! <gasps> this has to be Flowey, dude. Oh no, you freaking brought the mass crap back! Jingle bells! I'm dying! I need that H2O. Freaking break some crap! I have no health left. She's really hurting me. I'm not actually able to do. Dad, break that freaking mask! Finally, I broke some crap. Shoop. 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 Oh, I'm dying out here, bro. She's doing way too much damage to me. Shoop. 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 I hate that one that just ducks like that. I'm dead. There we go. Finally. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna hope now, raise my defense. Oh my goodness, I only have corn chowder left. Don't you love this corn saroba? Does it remind you of anything? 
I'm just gonna teleport through these. I'm dead! That's way too fast. Bro, I made it so far, though. We're so close to our goal. Don't mess it up. No, from here. So you know the truth. Now, are you satisfied? Okay. Just, uh, let's use hope. Let's use hope. That's wild, though, right? That 100% is the blue child. And eventually, I think the blue child gonna... How'd the soul end up with Asgore? If you look in Asgore's room, is one of them blue? If it wasn't, that means she actually sent humankind back by taking one of the potential humans and wasting it. I'm gonna die again, bro. She's too much. Soap! Unbelievable. I... Okay, we'll hope. Razor defense. This arm, I'm back! It's not possible! What the frick? That's too fast to actually play. Not the jingle bells. Frick, I didn't do that part as good as I could have. Endure. Okay, there's just three masks left if I'm paying attention to this right. Shoot! Okay, uh, corn chowder. Two masks left. No, oh, sucker, these things respond so much! Beef jerky. I'm out of items now. Not this again! This is cheap! Unbelievable, unbelievable. Freaking uh, hope. I don't even know what this is. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Look at the projectiles. What the hell is that? I'm not buying into her sob story. She did that mistake herself. I gotta restart the recording. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't get me! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That's taking it a bit far. But, see, I get it, right? The blue... Do you remember the child, the human that Dalv had a run-in with? That was the blue child. It was murderous. That's why the soul was corrupted when Soroba got it. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at these projectiles, man! There's no way they think I'm gonna be able to do this crap. I'm I have to break those, but how are you supposed to break them? Stop it! What the hell is that black hole sucking me in? What the hell? Um, okay. Endure. We're ahead of where we were. We're certainly ahead of where we were. Jump. No, this is unbelievable. This is not doable. before. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna freaking endure. Break that, 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 break that. No! 
Look at the projectiles on screen. Film! Hit you with that H2O. Let's go! Did I do it? Don't touch that, don't touch that. That thing's a troll. Okay, now... Wait, what does it say? Oh my god, it keeps overlapping. Okay. I have to... I'm gonna hope. Raise my defense. What the hell is that? I don't know what that was. So, I'm breaking her masks, but it doesn't seem to be... getting me anywhere. Does it... Does it waste a turn when I do those crabs? Should I just be using spare here? Nah, bro, that crab just backstabbed me. That is not what I should have been doing. Let's try again. Spare. Okay, we have confirmed that's not what you're supposed to do. Now I'm screwed. Your soul pulses with great power. I think she's just pushing my soul to the limit. This is how humans fight back then. We got a whole population of them. Wait till they go to the surface and realize there's freaking 7 billion of us. There must have been- I'm dying! There must have been like 70 of them when they first went to sealed. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> Neither do I right here. I can't beat her, bro. You held on to your hopes and dreams? I'm actually curious. Maybe I did come in here because I came in here with that treasure map, right? Maybe I heard of the kids who went missing and I actually came to this mountain because I was curious. It goes with my little sheriff character. What if that's what the yellow child was actually trying to do? How do they expect you to dodge all this, bro? Okay, I'm gonna hope raise my defense. Bro, this is not actually dodgeable! Mother's love my ass, bro. What the hell? What the frick? What the hell? What the poo? See how long that turn is. Your emotions wane, huh? Hit the jingle bells! There's a 
blood on screen. Just insane. Freaking again, Soroba? This is not even dodgeable. Only one bell left. You're so posted with great power. I know, bro. I don't know, but they tell me. They tell me these things across the. Uh, no, no, no. And I did it! Yes, break your face! Oh. Flowey, new power? What's Flowey? I thought we. She crying. I broke her mask. I feel bad. My love. My child. All gone. Why wouldn't you just... I swear I had the key. Saving Monster Khan from their demise. Carrying on his legacy. It was worth the risk to me. But now... Now my life is over. For nothing. For no one. I have done unforgivable things. I let my husband work himself to death. I put my precious little girl through hell and oh god and you hurt me star martlet offer a chance to make a difference a chance I don't think I can bear this weight any longer you won this battle do what needs to be done oh, oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> I really want to. I'll mercy you once. Take it or leave it. What are you waiting for? Please give me this. I saw I have to mercy her multiple times? Okay, I'm gonna freaking mercy you, okay? Why are you like this? Always taking the high road. Aren't you angry? Aren't you just? Pull the trigger already. Pull it. I me say so. Why? Soroba. You. You beat me up pretty badly, huh? Star Eye. Don't sweat it too much. I reckon I deserved for the Wild East fiasco. Heck of a hit though. I didn't know you had that in you. I'm... I'm so sorry. Why are they surprised she survived? Like, what the word, dude? What? Where am I? Clover, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> no, it's finished. Clover. Clover won. Y'all had a fight? And the deputy won? My lessons worked. He didn't say that. Wait, how much did I miss? I... I don't know what to do. Apologize, make excuses, nothing would change reality. 
Uh, I've dug a hole far too deep to uh, climb out of. And for nothing. Hey, where was I a few hours ago? In the same situation. My judgment was clouded and I screwed up. But you forgave me. The four others did as well. We've both made poor choices, no sugarcoating that. But there's hope. At least, I believe there is. I can't begin to grasp what you've gone through, but this was an absolute horrible way of dealing with it. You can't change what has happened, you're right. But you can control how you live from now on. Your actions will mean everything. But Chujin, his legacy, his wish, it will never be fulfilled. Chujin might not have been the perfect monster I thought he was, but even his darkest secrets came from a caring place. And that right there is his legacy. It isn't found in a serum to save the world. Everyone he helped, everything he crafted, that's what matters. Martin, that's right. He made life down here bearable for so many. And for that, he has my respect. I never thought about it that way. What the hell was I thinking? I was so tunnel vision, so lost. Yeah, even the robots were saying Chujin was kind to him. Them. We can work through this. We're here for you. Now. You should take some time to heal, recoup. But Kanako's well-being is still a valid concern. I have connections to the royal scientists, so... I'll begin an investigation, try my best to help. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Martlet. Clover, I want to apologize to you, most of all. Our time in the steamworks and what I said, it wasn't fake. It did allow me to briefly forget my troubles and have fun. But my reasoning for being there... I can't begin to... Wow, I hugged her. Why? I mean... That's so sweet. I feel bad for her. Well, after one bang, bad decision, it's hard for her to get back on track. She just kept making bad decisions. Thank you. I'm gonna cry. I just shoot her in the head right there. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this, but... Clover, I think your journey is at its end. Oh, hell no, this is what happens. This is destroy the yellow child. I'm about to go and get folded, too. Marla, do not let me go there. Ask where the barrier awaits us. No, already. As sad as it is, Clover needs to go home. That won't work. What? Sure, we know Clover for who they are, but ask where. He won't see Clover as we do, and he doesn't care to learn. But this is a unique situation. The king has always been kind and understanding. Yeah, Clover wouldn't hurt anyone. You think that's ever mattered in the past? The truth stings, but it is what it is. So what? Should I take Clover back to Snowden? Don't say that. You about to piss off the flower. Hide out for the rest of our lives? Yeah, why couldn't Clover stay with us? I mean, it's plausible, but won't the royal guard be on the hunt? After so many encounters, Clover just disappears. It wouldn't be the first. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh yeah, they would probably think the same thing happened again. That dude's still roaming. But what about the others? You know, the next humans. Clover gets to live happily, but they have to die. Oh, you don't know their hearts. Maybe they what deserve it. Have you learned anything? I'm just weighing our options. We're backed into a corner here, alright? Hey, calm down, guys. You know, I really thought tonight's fiasco was enough. We all talked about it through and through, and things are going well. <laughs> but you immediately suggest giving the future children up to... I didn't mean it like that. Get off my case. Flowey. Did I disappoint you? What's going on here? You probably want to go home, don't ya? Humanity already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. Oh, the words are echoing! This cannot continue any longer. You must have places to go. This is me thinking this. The castle, the barrier. Huh. 
I did everything so monsters won't have to worry about being stuck down here. Anyway, we'll bypass Royal Guard and plead your case to Ascor. Remember your real mission, Clover. Ascor only needs two more souls to... What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. Most might act cheerful, but life down here. Five children shout to find in the first place, despite its up and downs. Our little adventure was a blast. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Keep your head in the game. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. Come on, Clover. You are a kind soul, one of the best I've met. Clover. Clover! Clover, what are you doing? Uh, Bro, do y'all have the same suspicion? Hey, uh... Clover, what's going on? You're scaring us here. Do not tell me Clover is such a kind child that he... He hands himself in. It's time. What, what does that mean? It's time to go. No. No, 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 no. We'll think of a plan. We have options. But yeah, don't do something you'll regret. If it's snowed and you don't like, you can live with me. My house has the space. And it does not. And the posse loves you. Please, you gotta listen to us, Clover. You deserve better. You're... You're serious. Are you serious, bro? Uh, uh, what do you mean I understand? Stop him! Soroba, uh, uh, this whole time, what we, what have we been doing? Dragging Clover around, pulling at a leash. Selfish. Clover came here by their own volition. They deserve to leave by it too. But you don't want this outcome, right? Surely. If there was another way. But let's face it, there isn't. I believe Clover realized that a long time ago. I don't know what to say. As much as I want to stop you, I see it in your eyes. This is about our freedom, isn't it? This is actually making me tear up, bro. Clover, you are the bravest. Wow, bro. This is the actual ending. You are the bravest, most selfless human I've ever met. Of course, I've only met one. But if I ever meet another, I hope they're just like you. I promote you to Sheriff, cause Lord knows you've earned it. But you aren't Sheriff material. You're much more. I already made my feelings known in the hotland. So... Yeah, hug me fam. That's insane, and I suspected Clover would be some murderous dude. This means more to us than you know. To everyone. Yeah. Can we get a triple KO, Flowey? Well, I understand if you two don't want to be here for, you know. Do you have what you need? I do. Guess the sun's getting low. I'll see you around, partner. What the freaking badge? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you got a receipt for that? Nah, you gotta keep it. Nah, he's taking it. Okay. Thanks, kid. Goodbye, Clover. You've changed my life, truly. How will I know that you're human now, huh? <laughs> That's what you used to identify me. This means a lot. 
I'm sorry the world is like this. But people like you make it better. Thank you. Well, we'll be outside. You've gained my respect. I mean it. Yeah, I did a while ago. What the hell is that? She just put my heart in a jar. Well, I thought you were going to deliver me in human form, Task, or you already took my soul? I'm dead. Do you... Want me to stay? I can't answer. I'm dead. She freaking took my soul. Go on. I, I, I can talk? Uh, I'll be okay. Very well. This won't be forgotten. Goodbye, Clover. My dudes. Even Flowey can fly reverses all that? All that work just to become another cog in the machine? Heh. You've grown so predictable. I could undo all of this right now, but... Maybe you've earned your rest. After all, there's always another. Can't say it's been fun, so I suppose this is where we part ways. Oh, who am I kidding? Until we meet again, friend. He did li he likes us. Wait, what, what am I gonna jump off the cliff? Yo, Flowey liked us. No, I'm just gonna rest. That's insane. Flowey did like the time we spent. Bro, that's how the yellow child ends? That is so insane. I should have suspected I was a kind child and not murders because I was gonna stay with Gold Bob and then I was gonna stay with Feathers. They're giving it to Asgore. Still looking for me? No, she's just minding her business. And eventually, Red Child's gonna fall down. He's gonna have his organ concert. He's gonna play his own theme! He's making a lot of friends. Even Pops is in the crowd. There was no way to free him. I knew it. So this is the state I left the world in. Damn, Starl, you look way too weird like that. I've always been curious, man. Just what is the actual story that plays out? Unlike the, the first or until you know which story, which ending is real this time. Who the hell is that? Dalv freaking made a house in that broken area. That's Dalv's house, I guess. For Desmond. Madus, this game is a uh, this game is really good. That was a beautiful ending. Look who's repaired. And in uh, the waterfall place. I've been thinking about that day. A lot. Time is a funny thing, you know. I guess in the big picture of my life, you were only a blip. But oftentimes, those blips make the biggest impacts. The king offered me a promotion. Our guard posted a new home. 
but after experiencing the worst the job had to offer, I declined. Not only that, I put in my two weeks, huh? I felt that there are much better causes to pour myself into. Anyways... I'm stupid. I am the second... last child. There is no one between me and the red child. The red child's next. Because now he has six souls. Why did I think I was two behind? Sorry that I'm putting you on one of my raps again. Might not be the most appropriate send-off after that last ride. Oh, my hat! But it's the best tribute I could think of. No, keep that! Freaking keep the hat! Maybe Vengeful Virgil will find it. It's nice. It is. Thanks for doing this. Felt good to craft something with meaning again. You got your gift? Yeah, here you go. Okay, there's my gun. Sorbo, what you gonna put? Oh, I almost forgot. There's someone I invited who was a friend of Clover's. A friend? It's freaking Dal. Hello. Is it the right place? Oh, hello. Howdy. Sorry if I'm intruding. My name is Dalvin. and I, um, I was living in the ruins when Clover first entered the underground. So you were the first to meet him? One of the first, I suppose. A anyway, when we met, I acted foolish and attacked Clover. I think we all did at one point. I promise it didn't last long, though. And I held back a little. Um, where was I going with this? Clover helped you out of your situation. Yes. All in all, Clover was very kind to me. That checks out. It's nice to meet you, Dalv. Thanks for coming. He makes new friends here. Of course. Well, no more stalling. Everyone ready? I believe so. Oh, wait a second. I want to place one more thing. My safety goggles. Safety glasses? I want Clover to stay safe on their journey. Can't forget him, right? No, you can't. It's just so sad, bro. This hurts me. We knew, we knew from the start it was supposed to end with me dying. But it never really clicked in and it's happening in front of her face. There you go. Goodbye, friend. Thanks for all you've done. See you around, kid. Take care, Clover. Even Flowey let me go. I've been in this loop hundreds of times with Flowey's probably like, you know what? He liked me, man. Flowey liked us. Uh, I'm ending this recording before I saw any tears come down, okay? I'm, I'm cooler than that. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll do the genocide run. Some, some games just have to be left as is. I don't want to ruin this. Toby Fox and Tammy Chang. There I fall to the scraps. On a nice flower patch. Somebody calls for help. You answer the call. I don't know what that means. Shank that like button, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.